Hello everyone, Devjyoti here from webcdo.com and today in this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can create this kind of professional looking product filter by using one of the most popular free plugin name as filter everything. By using this plugin, not only you can create product filter, but also by using this plugin, you can create blog post filter, page filter, etc. There are a lot of plugin is available for creating this product filter, but 95% plugin are paid plugin and or the free plugin is available they don't have proper feature and they are very complex to use but i think this plugin is very simple and the person doesn't have any kind of coding knowledge they also can create this kind of professional product filter by using this plugin and in this video tutorial i am going to teach you each and everything about this plugin also i'll teach you how to use the pro version of this plugin also also by using this plugin actually you can create responsive product filter as you can see in the mobile preview in downside you will get this filter option and that is toggleable when you click on that filter will appear and when you click on that again filter will get minimized like that now let me show you how this filter work suppose i am choosing the fruit category and here you can see number five the side of the fruit category means total five product is available in the fruit category and if i choose this filter fruit then you can see only the product belong to the fruit category are displaying here even in the top here you can see the active category option and even you can see the reset option also so if i click on the reset all then all the filter will be get resetted and you can see all the products again that is the filter by price after that filter by cultivation option and these are all the attributes actually even here also you can see filter by color filter by packing type these are all attributes and this all the product categories okay so now i will create this filter in this website at present you can see that is the shop page and there is no filter okay so now i will create the product filter by using filter everything plugin in this website so first of all i have to come back to the dashboard so for that let me click in this w option and for creating this product filter first of all i have to install a new plugin so hover on the plugin and click in the add new option here and here actually i have to search for the filter everything plugin so here you can see this filter everything plugin okay so let me click in the install now option and wait for some time for plugin get installed once the plugin get installed you can see activate option so i have to click in the activate option for activating this plugin and after activating this plugin here you can see there is a new option get added that is filters okay and make sure before creating this filter you have to create product category and product attributes as you can see here if i click on the category option here you can see i already create different kind of product category even if i click on the attribute here also you can see i added total four attributes that is color cultivation type packing and product type and also when you creating the product you must have to apply this product categories and attributes in the products as you can see here if i click on the products suppose i am opening this fresh papaya so here you can see i already properly added the product category even here also you can see that is a variable product if you come to the attribute option here you can see i properly add all the attributes here okay and i added all the value to the attributes as you can see here okay so make sure you also add all the attributes and the product category when you creating the products so now let me start to build the product filter so for creating the product filter first of all i have to click in the filters option next i have to click in this add filter set option and here in the title i have to give the name of the product filter i am giving a name as product filter only now you have to choose the post type to filter so i want to create the product filter for the products so here i am choosing products after that i have to click in the add filter option so first of all i need the filter product by price option so from here i am choosing custom fill numeric option in the meta key i am writing price the filter title i am giving as filter by price and in the url option i am giving price okay so the next filter will be filter product by cultivation type so now again i have to click in the add filter option here now click in this and from here i am choosing product cultivation type the title i am writing cultivation type of product url i am writing cultivation underscore type and here i am choosing checkbox you can choose radio button 
label list anything but here i'm choosing checkbox only okay so next filter will be product category so again i have to click in the add filter option from this drop down i'm choosing product category here i'm writing categories in the url also i'm writing categories and here i'm choosing checkbox okay next i have to add the filter for the color attribute so let me click in the add filter option and from this drop down i am choosing product color filter title i am giving as filter by color url variable i am giving as color and here i am choosing checkbox next filter will be packing type okay so from this drop down i am choosing product packing filter title i am giving as filter by packing type url i am taking packing underscore type and here i am choosing checkbox only now let me add another filter for the product type so from this drop down i am choosing product type and title i am giving filter by product type and here in the variable i am taking product underscore type for this suppose i am choosing label list now scroll down so this first two option is available in the pro version so i am keeping them as it is empty term never hide i'll discuss this later let me first of all publish it now let me check the shop page the product filter appearing or not but you can see product filters are not coming even after publishing the filter set also so for that let me come back to the customize option of the theme so for that hover on the appearance and click in the customize here i am going to use rishi theme for 99 percent theme the option will be quite similar like that only in customize option let me come back to the woocommerce setting come back to the general setting so here you can see the woocommerce layout there is no sidebar at present and by default it is in full width okay so i want this one i mean left sidebar okay so i'm choosing that option next you have to click in the publish option after publish let me come back here and here you can see the widgets option click on that and here you can see the shop sidebar click on that now you have to click in the plus option and here i have to search for the filter so here you can see the filtered everything filters click on that next here you can see the title I am giving the title as product filters after that let me click in the publish option now suppose I want to display total three product in a single row so for that again come back here and let me again come back to the WooCommerce option come back to the shop page setting now from here number of columns suppose I am making it three and how many rows you want to display you can choose that also now let me click in the publish option again so now let me come back to the shop page and let me refresh the page to check the filter is coming or not so now you can see this filter is coming profilely but here in the mobile preview you can see if i scroll down to the page after showing all the products this product filters are appearing like that okay but i want it should be display as a toggle so for that again come back to the dashboard click in the filter now open the product filter from here come back to the settings option and here you can see one option colas filter use it in the mobile device so let me enable that after that let me click in the save option and once it's saved let me again come back here in mobile preview and after that let me refresh the page once so now you can see it's coming as a toggle when i clicking on that this filter area will get expand and when i close it it will get minimized like that okay after that the next option sidebar on top if you enable that in the mobile preview the sidebar area will come in top okay next ajax option if you want to enable the ajax option then you have to enable that okay and after that you have to enter the id here okay next widget primary color so from here you can choose the widget primary color after that filter container maximum height you can increase or decrease by default it's 550 i am keeping the same only okay now let me check the additional option for the filter set so for that let me click on the filter set option let me open it so now here you can see empty term by default it will be never hide suppose i am choosing always hide and after that let me click in the update option now for the change will happen so let me come back here by default you can see there are so many category in which there is no product you can see uh, like this cookies zero count is coming and some other categories also you can see zero counter coming but if you enable this option and make it always hide then let me refresh the page so you can understand all the empty option will gone as you can see there is no empty option okay so it will look more professional suppose you don't have any product in some specific category at that time the category will not display here in the product filter hope you understand the concept so next again come back here so after that here you can see show counters by default it will be enabled if you disable that let me click in the update option so once it updated let me come back here here you can see after every filter 
you can see the count i mean how many product belong to that particular attribute or particular category displaying here now if i refresh the page here you can see this counts are not coming but i highly recommended keep enable this okay so you can easily understand the how many products belong to that particular category or attributes okay so now here you can see the search field option if i enable that this extra option will come and the search field title will be search and here you can enter any placeholder suppose i am entering search product after that let me click in the update option so now after updating let me come back here and refresh the page so now here you can see extra search field get added here if you need then you can enable else disable that so the next option is apply button mode let me enable that so now here extra two option get added apply button label that is apply and reset button label is reset if you want to change you can always change it now let me click in the update option after that let me come back here and refresh the page now here you can see extra two option get added reset and apply suppose i am choosing a particular category and here i am choosing red color you can see when i choosing that attributes or categories this filter are not applying automatically i have to click on the apply option to get filter applied so now you can see this product is coming because i choose this filter as fruit in category and red in color so this product are come okay it's not coming automatically after clicking in the apply option only these are coming okay so if you click on the reset option then all the filter will be get resetted and you can see all the products are coming like that but i think that's not a good option because if you don't apply that then whenever you choose a some particular category or attribute that will be automatically applied okay so i recommended don't enable that okay let me click in the update option so these are all the option which is available in the free version in this filter everything plugin so now let me install the pro version of this plugin so for that again i have to hover on the plugin and click in the add new click in the upload plugin option now i already have that pro version so just drag and drop it here and click in the install now option after that let me click in the activate plugin option don't worry i'll give this pro version link in the video description from there you can download this in free of cost but i think this free version is enough okay so again let me come back to the filter option so now you can see one extra option get added that is SEO rules by clicking on this add SEO rule you can add SEO title description heading tag etc etc I'm keeping everything as it is let me come back to the settings option so now here you can see some extra option get added so in the mobile device here you can see one extra option special pop-up filter widget on the mobile enable the pop-up filter widget okay so let's enable that now scroll down and click in the save changes you can see before this pop-up filter was appearing in the downside okay but now let me refresh the page so now you can see your pop-up filter is appearing on the top and that's really look professional because when someone browsing the website he want to see the filter in the top position only and it's really working perfectly another thing also you can see in this filter by color option color are not displaying but if you come to the color attribute here you can see i properly add all the colors okay but here it not displaying so for that what you have to do you have to come back to this experimental option you have to enable this option enable color switcher and from here i have to choose product color now let me click in the save changes now let me refresh the page here now here you can see this color is appearing perfectly and it's really look awesome also in the appearance you can see this style checkbox and radio bottom let me enable that and click in the save changes so before that here you can see when i hover on the checkboxes nothing happened but let me refresh the page after enabling this styling option here you can see when i hover on them you can see the hover color also coming and it's really looking good even in the pro version you can easily change this url prefix even you can rearrange them also easily url prefix is nothing but suppose you can see for the color I choose the prefix as color. So in the shop page, you can see the URL. Suppose I'm choosing green color. So now you can see the URL color green. So this kind of professional URL you will get. And this really help you to improve the SEO skill. Okay. I'm ending this video tutorial here. If you have any kind of doubt regarding to this tutorial, you can always ask me in the comment section. Also, if you have any WordPress related project, you can contact with me with this number. I have WhatsApp in this number. Else you can email me in this email id hope you really enjoy this video if you really like this video then don't forget to like and share this video 
and my humble request please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notification about my videos thank you for watching this video have a nice day